Hi, it's David again from the Drone Sense customer success team. And today I want to give you an update on our brand new application, which is version 2024.8.15. We normally don't do update videos like this for our applications, but there's a couple of key changes here and an additional feature that I really wanted to call out. And my thanks to the Drone Sense engineers for doing such an incredible job of pushing all of these updates and enhancements into the mobile application. So what I am sharing is a screen from my controller this afternoon. I uh, went out and just flew a short mission. What I'm showing is, first of all, that the flight planning elements are now residing in a different portion of the app. So previously in the map view, you could access the flight planning elements from pushing the marker icon. Now those are in the uh, flight planning actions in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. So what I'm showing here is a sector search. And the sector search is a brand new search pattern that we have included. And this is based on an extensive study with the Norwegian National Police UAS program. And there is a white paper that's published on this. We'll go ahead and get it posted up in the Facebook users group. This is a very systematic, very precise search pattern that the country of Norway has had great success in their uncrewed uh, aerial searches. Uh, again, we have implemented this in a direct manner in drone sense right now. So in addition to the uh, the orbit search and the survey search, we also have this search pattern as well. So this pattern is scalable as we uh, select sector search and drop that position onto the map. We have uh, a number of different things. And I'm going to go ahead and actually back this video up just a little bit so we can walk through some more of this. And what we see is this is scalable. So the radius and the altitude are intertwined. This is a series of 60 degree turns uh, within this uh, space. And again, it's essentially a triple redundancy that should have a high probability of detection starting from an area of interest. Again, the center point of this is a specific area of interest that a team would want to search. Now, the gimbal angle is going to default to 75 degrees. You can see here, I can change the default or the gimbal angle to a different uh, angular measurement, but this search pattern was designed to be run at a 75 degree gimbal angle. Generally, that is going to be um, executed at 100 meters is how this was originally designed, but we are giving uh, agencies the opportunity to basically set your uh, AGL or your height above terrain to scale that to what works for your operation. So here again, I have executed, I've added that uh, into the flight plan. It was a single element. I went ahead and pushed the play button. That drone is now flying to the center point of the sector search, and it's going to begin to execute this pattern. Now, what's cool is if you take a look above the telemetry bar at the very bottom of the screen, we have the current flight planning action, which is sector search. The next is the re return to home sequence. And I love this addition as well. Now, for those of you that have been flying in drone sense in some time, there's one thing that is noticeably absent here. If you look at my notifications, the bell icon on the left-hand side of the screen, this version of the application that was released today, or I should say released on 2024.8.15, so that's the app version, and it happens to be the day that the app was released, that the notifications window is not opening. Um, we've certainly heard our customers, we want to deliver on a product that works for you operationally. So our engineers have reduced the frequency with which notifications are appearing, and there are further enhancements to come. So coming back to this video as well, and of course, yep, you should be able to see that. There we go. So again, the drone is executing. I have set the speed. I have set the altitude. This is autonomous now at this point. Uh, now, I did change the gimbal angle to 70 degrees just to show you that it could be changed. Again, this search pattern is designed to be conducted at... 75 degrees. But again, we wanted to give our customers maximum flexibility. Uh, I think this is just an incredible addition to the Drone Sense platform. And again, my thanks to our engineers for making this happen. If you have any questions or feedback, please reach out to any member of the Drone Sense customer success team, and we're happy to help. 
Thanks so much and stay safe.